Hello YouTube. Literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago. Threw some uh, leftovers in the oven and I was checking my package and it had shipped. Um, this is a fragrance off of a recommendation of a good friend of mine. Uh, you might know him as Nelson Fragrance. I would go check out his YouTube channel. Um, Ryan, Ryan's a good guy. Well, from what I've talked to him, he seems like a good guy, you know. No, I'm just kidding. There we go. And I'm not going to spoil what this fragrance is. Um, I was interested in the brand at the time. Um, but different fragrances kind of got in the way of me buying them. And different things kind of happened in life and things changed. Uh, you know, life hits, life is real. And, ooh. Oh. Sometimes your, your change tastes, oh, this comes in a box. I didn't know it came in a box. Sometimes you want different things. Sometimes you want to buy different things. Sometimes fragrances aren't necessarily the number one thing on my to buy list. Sometimes it's things for my truck. Sometimes it's clothing. Uh, it is the Christmas season, so my you, my fragrance buying will be going down. But here's the fragrance. It is Cream Dream by Tsuga Parfums. T-S-V-G-A. Tsuga, however you pronounce it, I'm not sure. And this is cream dream wow look at some of these sediments in the back absolutely beautiful i'm not exactly sure on the complete notes list of this but i do really enjoy the uh the pictures on here now um, it definitely is a cream dream if you know what i mean uh the i think the guy's name is james that i don't even think this has been sprayed can't smell it off the top. It's really cold right now. It's it's an absolutely frigid day. It, it, it's miserable. I'm going out uh, doing some Christmas shopping for my little brothers, uh, my mom, and my girlfriend. And I'm kind of dreading going out just because of how cold it is. But this will probably be my scent of the day. I'm gonna spray a little bit on. Yeah, never been sprayed before. Oh wow, nice sprayer. Really nice spray, wow. Let me let it kind of, hmm, mm. Okay. All right. Hmm. This is, this is actually nice, it really is. A lot of times with these and this is a a thing I'm going to say, and I'll probably repeat, and I know some people don't agree with me, but it's what my nose picks up. A lot of times with these indie houses, you get a lot of the same stuff. All it is is um, a rose oud fragrance that has more tobacco in it. Um, or, well, it'll be a rose oud, and then it'll be like a... It'll be like a Rosa Uda Tobacco. It'll be like it'll it'll start out as Rose Rosa Uda. Or I'm just you know making up a name. It'll start out as Rosa Uda, and then they'll come out with Rosa Uda Tobacco. You know, or they'll have like a Rosa Uda Part Two, and it'll have more oud in it than rose, and then they'll have like a Rosa Uda Part Three, and it'll have more rose in it than oud. And then they'll have a, um, they'll say that they're discontinuing it and then they're starting a whole new one and it just, or you get a lot of these brands that are indie brands and they really admire another brand. So basically they make a, another rendition of that fragrance. And I know sometimes it's unintentional, but it does happen. But man, th this is really nice. This is. It's not orangey, like, because I really don't like the smell of orange. Like in, um, 
Terra de Hermes, Otre, Otre Fresh. Um, to be honest, that kind of comes off as an orangey tooth decay top smell to me. But this comes off literally as a, what is the name of it? The Stewart's uh, Cream Soda. The ones that used to be at Cracker Barrel. I don't think that Cracker Barrel sells them anymore, actually. Oh. Oven finally heated up all the way. That's what this reminds me of. It, it, it's You can tell it, it's kind of light on the skin at first. It might be because I haven't taken a shower yet. It might be because the fragrance is cold from being outside. It, it's light, but you can tell that it's going to be long-lasting. <laughs> kind of that sitting close to the skin, but long-lasting. Really nice. The, the vanilla in here isn't... Like a cheap vanilla vanillin. It, it's 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 creamy almost, like a, like a like a thick cream. Like like if you like when you drink the orange soda, uh, the Stewart's orange soda, Stewart's cream soda. Sorry, orange orange cream soda. I can't really remember. When you would get done drinking it, you'd <clears throat> kind of have to cough a couple of times because it would kind of you know, I guess the corn syrup would be in your throat and you have to cough a couple of times to to get it to really go down. I mean, I just, I like it, I do. Uh, I, this will probably be getting more wears than I thought it would. I thought this would just be really a, uh, man, I just can't get over the sediments that are in the, this bottle. I, I wonder if there's not some strong underlying musk in here somewhere. It's not really musky. I'm curious just to know what is in the in the bottom of this bottle. I'm curious to know the sediments that are in here because when I kind of do this to it, you know, not shake it up, but just turn it over, it seems that they kind of go away, but then when I let it sit here for a little bit, they like kind of float back to the bottom. Yeah, there they go. They just float back to the bottom. And then they gather there. Pretty cool. I've always think that's cool when fragrances do that and they have... They, they have the sediments in there. I know some people uh, don't like it. I don't know why, but I think it's cool. It kind of has that little, you know, when you hear your grandfather and they'll talk about, oh yeah, I had musk in the bottom of it or whatever. I, I've really always loved the imagery of this. I always have. It just kind of turns me on a little bit, I guess. But that's my unboxing and semi-first impression. Well, not semi. It is my first impression, but... Probably doing a, a, a more in-depth first re first impression when I get my shower taken and everything else. So, hope everyone has a great day.